Bulgaria's EU membership provided many opportunities for encouraging projects of public benefit, both in the public and in the private sector. One of the successful instruments for that is the Fund for Sustainable Urban Development for Sofia, which concluded its first four-year stage with 13 projects implemented on the territory of Sofia. The fund is a subsidiary of the flag Fund of the Local Authorities in Bulgaria, established in early 2012. The European Investment Bank selected it for one of the two pilot funds for sustainable urban development on the territory of Bulgaria. The Fund for Sofia is the fund manager of the financial instrument Jessica, a joint initiative of the European Commission and the European Investment Bank with the support of the Development Bank of the Council of Europe for funding sustainable investment in urban areas. The purpose of the fund is to encourage and motivate the initiative for gradual transition from grant to financial instrument funding to support sustainable projects that generate income. This falls within the context of the European Commission's policy for extended use of financial instruments as a more efficient and sustainable alternative for adding to traditional funding. We support projects that generate income and create jobs and can provide return on investment as well as be sustainable, result in urban development, sustainable development of transport and social infrastructure and of social services, of course. Funding is provided under the Regional Development Operational Programme and from our fund at a 50-50 ratio. And as of 30th of June 2016, we are glad to report that we have invested 100% of the funds available. Naturally, this is the result of the proactive and very motivated efforts and the expertise of the Fund for Sustainable Urban Development for Sofia, which performed all the objectives it was tasked with by force of the operational agreement. We invested 100% of the funds disbursed under the agreement in 13 sustainable urban projects. They are in all sectors of the economy and originate from various project initiators, from the private sector, municipal companies and companies with state participation. The total value of the projects implemented in the first stage was 39 million euro. The funds invested from the fund were 25 million euro. 50% came from the Regional Development Operational Programme, whereby 11.8 million euro was the amount of the loan and 750,000 euro was added to the loan due to the achieved good management and yields from the funds provided. This project was of great importance to us because we bought new equipment for almost all wards and clinics to test and treat our patients. We also bought new state-of-the-art laparoscopy surgery equipment. Currently we are performing the most major surgery intervention, removal of the bladder. We're using an ultrasound knife, one of the very few in this country. This knife enables a minimum amount of blood loss during this major surgery, up to 300 milliliters. We have wonderful conditions with modern equipment provided from the Jessica program. 
In addition to this state-of-the-art technology, we equipped our hospital with anesthesiology and breathing apparatuses, which we needed so badly. The number of our patients grows on a daily basis. You are aware of the bad statistics for cancer. Every year, some 35 to 40,000 people are diagnosed with it. We bought new equipment for saving and improving the quality of information we work with. Because the data about the patients, the history of their disease, the tests and the medical history have to be saved for years ahead. Thanks to this investment, we managed to establish a brand new urology clinic that is already operational and receives its first patients. The construction of Lozenitz Educational Sports Complex was undertaken in order to respond to the need of state-of-the-art facilities for an exceptionally high level of education at global level. The complex comprises an educational and a sports unit. The latter is in the process of completion. In the already completed and operational educational unit, we have more than 70 rooms for over 200 students. The capacity is 600 and we are looking forward to welcoming that many students within the coming two years. The sports unit has a sports hall of an area of more than 1,000 square meters, a 25 by 12 meter swimming pool, a kindergarten, halls for martial arts, ballet, dances and many others. I would like to express my gratitude to the fund for supporting us in the implementation of this project. We had a very useful partnership with clearly disclosed procedures and adherence to the rules so that we could work efficiently and they could exercise their measures of control. Our school is a modern school which aims to seek high standards of education in Bulgaria. We are very, very fortunate to have access to this fund which has enabled us to provide the resources and the expertise needed in order to deliver a high quality Bulgarian curriculum, but also giving our students the opportunity to have access to a high quality suite of international qualifications. We hope this will keep students in Bulgaria and give them some pride in their country to provide education that is suitable for them. What did we buy with the money from Jessica? The main part was invested in a last generation linear accelerator. At the time we purchased it, Bulgaria was the sixth country in Europe which had such a thing. We are the only place in this country with such equipment. It was needed for the radio surgery. Bulgarian patients had to go abroad, mostly when they had brain tumors, primary, secondary, malignant or non-malignant. Our other clinics are successful too, but the focus of radiosurgery is the brain. It is why we invested in a radiosurgery clinic and bought this apparatus. 
the only one in this country. We had all the support when administering the process. It is not of little importance. It is even a first priority that extending such a large sum to a medical establishment is a risky investment. We are ever so grateful for making this happen. The risk is weighed, as many patients are seen in the hospital at the moment. It is unfortunate to have so many sick people, but from the viewpoint of return on investment, it is not a burden to our other wards. On the other hand, Bulgarians can be treated in their home country. They don't have to travel abroad. Not just travel, but also save money for treatment, because it is reimbursed from the National Health Fund. We did need a helping hand. We're all followers of the great Mr. Senko. This is his place. Sometimes I even have the feeling that his spirit is here. I have many students now. This helps me teach them. In the olden days, I learned from him without him knowing it. The help was serious. We already have a place to practice, to rehearse, to exhibit the memorabilia we have collected over the years. Some world-class masters of illusion visited, the President and the Vice President of the World Association. The best in the world now. Jeff McBride was also our guest. He said some very flattering things. That he is amazed by what he saw. That in a small country we have done something that makes us commensurate to the great powers. The Fund for Sustainable Urban Development for Sofia proved to be an extremely successful instrument for implementing our policy for sustainable urban projects. The Fund provided many opportunities. First of all, of course, it is a very good financial instrument that made it possible for 13 sustainable urban projects to be implemented. The funds that were earmarked for SOFIA were invested 100%. Eight of these projects were of municipal companies. Secondly, I would like to underscore the no less important effect of disciplining the municipal companies. In the past, they were known for anything but a successful financial policy. At the moment, the companies repay regularly their loans and they receive favorable and long-term financial resources. I believe that during the first stage, the fund prepared all of us to make the best use of the new funding instruments in the new programming period. 
We have had difficulties in finding the right formula for a long time. Together with the fund and its executive, Nadia Dankinova, we found the best way and created a successful, sustainable model for funding municipal economy and disciplining the municipal companies. So, I am extremely grateful to the team. They worked hard. As I said, we had difficulties initially and we lost some time. But after a while we gained impetus, together with the team of the fund, with our colleagues from the Metropolitan Municipality, with the support of the Metropolitan Municipal Council and, naturally, with the management of the municipal companies and hospitals. We managed to achieve this, in my opinion, really great result, 100% use of the funds and, most importantly, proven sustainability of these projects. To me, the fund and the Jessica in general helped us implement our long-term strategy for sustainable development of Sofia as a green city. As a result of the successful implementation of the objectives, as of 1st of August 2016, the Fund for Sustainable Urban Development for Sofia has received confirmation for reinvestment of the funds in new sustainable urban projects. It will continue till 2025, and for that time, the expected amount we can disperse is about 30 million Bulgarian leva. We hope that the successful investment of this amount will have exceptional effect and will improve the living and working conditions of the people and will create new jobs in the capital city. We have created a working sustainable model using the expertise and the experience of FLAG. We have established successful partnerships and trust. I believe that we can manage to be among the new financial intermediaries for the 2014-2020 programming period. We want to support the implementation of the investment programs of the cities and the opportunity for Bulgaria to make the best use of the European Solidarity Funds.